Hello everyone, this is Sheetal Maria with you at Bio Ocean back with our cell series and today we are here to learn the modifications of plasma membrane. We deal about the composition, we deal about the models and at last we are here to learn about the modifications of plasma membrane. Before getting into the video, if any one of you are new to my channel, Please go and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications whenever I upload a video. Majorly we can say uh, that there are about 6 structures as modifications of plasma membrane and today we are here going to deal that stuff. So saying about the first modification of plasma membrane it is microvilli which is a finger like cylindrical shaped projection that is seen on the surface of the plasma membrane. Actually it is seen uh, somewhere else too in the digestive tract and all that. Actually the major function of this uh, microvilli is are to increase the surface area. See here I have shown you a picture of microvilli. It looks like a finger. Na? So this is what we call as microvilli. And the second modifications are tight junctions otherwise called as zonulae occludens. These are the special areas that is uh, the plasma membrane of two cells are fused together in some areas and those special areas are called as tight junctions and they are fused together so intimately so that the inner space now that is the space between two membranes that space in between the membranes disappears okay and their functions is to uh, like act as the barriers for diffusion and I will show you a picture. See the picture. It shows somewhere areas that are closely or intimately packed. Na? These spaces are called as tight junctions. So that inner space is not seen. And the third modifications are gap junctions. They are also the areas of intercellular contact. But what happens now? This intercellular space exists as narrow spaces in between two plasma membranes. In the former tight junctions, they were tightly packed, intimately packed, so no intercellular space was there. But in case of gap junctions, what happens is a narrow intercellular space exists in between. And they contain some disc shaped areas on each cell membrane uh, which has several cylindrical hollow particles. Through these particles, substances like amino acids, ions, vitamins, sugar are transferred otherwise exchange of these kind of substances is taking place through this disc shaped area which are hollow in shape okay and adjacent cells which are connected now there's those adjacent cells utilize these exchanged matters this is how gap junctions work you can see those flower kind of substances seen in between the two plasma membranes and that is the hollow space through which this exchange happens and the next modifications are desmosomes otherwise called as macula adherens and these are also cells junctions uh, uh, commonly they are uh, like seen in the columnar epithelium and whenever we look under a light microscope they are seen as dark stained bodies and under an electron microscope they are seen as thickened buttons you can see in this picture okay desmosomes looks like this and the fifth modifications are hemidesmosomes which are the half portions of desmosomes seen at the basal of certainly the epithelial cells. Okay, they resemble the desmosomes but they are not coated with collagen fibrils outside. That is only the difference that exists in between desmosomes and hemidesmosomes. Hemi means what? It is half. Na? So we can call the hemidesmosomes as half the desmosomes. Okay. You can see the picture of hemidesmosomes here. And the last one, last modification is terminal bars. They are also called as intermediary junctions otherwise zonula adherence. They are also similar to these desmosomes but only one difference existing in between these two are tonofibrils. And in case of terminal bars, the plasma membrane is very thickened and the cytoplasm of these thickened areas are very dense. You can see a picture here which shows the terminal bars. Okay. Hope you all understood these modifications well. So altogether there were six modifications. Each were uh, undergoing so many different kind of functions. And this is all about plasma membrane today. If you like this video, 
Please give me a thumbs up, comment your suggestions and share it to your friends and others who are interested to learn biology. And if you have any kind of doubts, please let me know through my email ID that I have provided. See you in the next video. Thank you for listening. God bless. Thank you.